My day starts at about 5.30 in the morning. Get up, and then I'm outside tending to the chickens. We're always used to digging in the soil, so I like to get dirt under my fingernails. My name's Clark Greiner. I am the National and International Sales Manager for Garden Tower Project. In 2010, my youngest daughter was five years old. We were typical Americans. Uh, we'd go out to the grocery store, buy whatever we could. You're going uptown and having to get uh, food from, from grocery stores and from restaurants. A lot of times you don't know what's in there. She was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Prognosis on this was quite scary. When you are told that, you're, you're just devastated. And you know, everything is about trying to figure out what happened, how to deal with this, what causes those sorts of things. We talked with medical experts all over the world about that. And they said, look, we don't know what causes these sorts of things, but food is one of the things that we kind of kept coming back to. And so that led us to organic foods. I and my wife sat down and we said, how do we do this better? We started with an orchard. And then from the orchard, we moved to the chickens. Then from there, we moved to the bees to help fruit trees be more fruitful. From there, we decided, you know, how are we gonna use the garden tower in this and how many towers do we need? And we thought, well, we can grow a lot of vegetables in a very small footprint with a garden tower. Why don't we just take multiple garden towers and put them in a 10 by 10 and see what we can do? Several garden towers was a perfect solution for what we were looking for. It just helped complete the plant. A garden tower is a urban friendly container garden that grows a high quantity of plants in a very small footprint. We put a nutrient tea drawer down at the bottom. You actually take that nutrient tea drawer out and dump it back in the top of the tower and the water and the unused nutrients percolate back over the root zone so the plants get a second chance at that nutrients. We also put a compost column right down the center of it. And in there, what we do is we also purposely insert red wiggler worms. And the worms get in there and they break down the greens. What you put in the compost column is what you're going to get out. Uh, the products you eat and you bring into your kitchen actually are recirculated back into the tower and go through the composting process. But the funny thing is that they end up back in your kitchen. The initial results have actually been phenomenal. We're getting tremendous growth actually during the middle part of summer in a greenhouse, which people say can't be done. During that time in 2010, till the tumor was removed, um, we kept asking that question. It, one of the things that we turned to was food and uh, what's in our food, how it's grown. And so we wanted to go for quality, not quantity, so to speak, but to find a more healthy way to live. That's why we got involved with uh, Garden Tower.